Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an EdTech and Curriculum Consultant, founder of ClassTechTips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I want to talk to you today about where to find an endless supply of pattern blocks. Now, if you've worked in elementary or middle school classroom and you have manipulatives available for your students, you know it can sometimes be hard to find just the right number of hexagons or just the right number of triangles depending on the activity you're doing with students. Well, I think that using actual tools, manipulatives in the hands of students are so important. But when you're looking for that endless supply, um, you may want to check out pattern shapes for iPad and the web a free tool from the Math Learning Center. So with Pattern Shapes, you can open up the web app like we're going to do shortly. You can download it in the Apple App Store, the Windows Store, or the Chrome Store. And as you can see here on the screen, you can pull all of the pattern blocks you want, arrange them anywhere, and use it to teach all different concepts, including fractions. So we're gonna open up the web app here. And you'll notice some of the options down here at the bottom for changing the colors of the different shapes, um, for duplicating, copying, making them a little bit smaller, you name it. So what you can do here is you can set it up so there is a grid of different sizes or no grid. We'll go back to our grid here. You can pull out the shapes. Um, this grid is great if you're working with tessellations. You can also rotate the shapes if you want them to go um, in a certain way. So this is great for really any activity you would be doing with um, these type of shapes in your classroom. So maybe you have some layering of them. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this and you'll see I can duplicate and get another one and I can shift it and turn it so that it fits right next to here. I can also go ahead and make it smaller if I want to or click it again to make it bigger so I can toggle between those two. And if you look down here, we have the option to use an outline. Um, you can make your own or use one of them here. So a lot of activities as you can imagine doing, I'm sure, with students um, filling these in as well. So this is great if you're looking for students to interact with different shapes, um, spin them around, move them to different pieces, compare their sizes, you know, you name it. But if you look down here at the bottom, there's also the opportunity to include um, number sentences to annotate if you want students to point something out um, or put something extra notes on the screen. Um, there's also a protractor option. Oop, and I need to get rid of my tool. And there's also the protractor option so you can measure different angles as well when looking at these different shapes. Totally up to you um, and what you're working on with your students. So you can use this terrific pattern shapes app um, for an endless supply of pattern blocks.